dear friend this is my tutorial 14 so in this video you can learn how to calculate a gives free energy for hydrogen evaluation reactions so this is the one of the paper published in the ACS catalysis so in this paper they calculated the delta GH so the similar um, models I also used to, to calculate delta GH for you so this is the models the used for the calculation the first one a is that uh, a catalyst this is the without h this is the hydrogen absorbed system so this is the they are calculated the absorption free energy delta gh so n doped graphene so this is the system tm at 4n graphene so pb and pbu results so they this is the they calculated the PBE D3 method so we also calculated the PBE D3 method especially if this is for the Fe atom so we will compare with this hydrogen absorption energy with ours so we will see later slide next slides so this is the free energy diagram for HER is an ideal electrocatalyst and the platinum at zero electrode potential so an ideal catalyst that should be a uh, that should not should not be a positive or negative should be the zero hydrogen absorption energy then only the catalyst will perform uh, will good otherwise it will give the low performance so the catalyst should not be uh, more positive or more negative should be the, the this level that means the catalyst will do best so that this is the calculated <coughs> this is the calculated uh, binding energy of platinum uh, system 111 so the actually this is 0 0.09 minus so this is the binding energy so this is the system uh, we used to, to calculate the free energy, free energy for uh, hydrogen evaluation reactions so this is fe and 4 system this is the top view on the side view model so now i will tell you how to calculate the hydrogen absorption energy that means gives free energy so i already made it some uh, calculation for you so first step you need to calculate the delta e okay this is the formula so if you see this is the first one is hydrogen absorbed the graphene system this is the pure catalyst active side graphene system this is half of the h2 if you are doing so we are going to use only one h for uh, absorption on this side so we have to use half of the h so this is the corresponding in total energy this is also corresponding total energy this is the co corresponding half of the energy of uh, dft energy of this h okay 3.37963 uh, okay if you substitute the so if you if you substitute this value you will get with 0 0.08 so for your uh, your understanding i also made some other method so if you substitute this uh, value to here you will get also same value 0 0.08 okay this is the calculated delta e for hydrogen absorption on fe system now we have to calculate the delta gh for the hydrogen evaluation reactions okay so now we will see so this is delta gh calculation so this first we need to get experimental zero point energy of h2 okay so experimental zero point energy of h2 is 0. 27. so you will get from this genafnis database i have made it a separate video on the experimental zero point and uh, mm. entropy of a uh, gas based molecule i will give this video link in the de description box you can uh, watch if you want okay so then you need to uh, you have to get the calculated zero point energy for h atom okay so while optimizing your system you need, need to do the frequency calculation uh, while doing frequency calculation uh, after uh, completion of frequency calculation you use basket tool and uh, to get the zero point energy of the absorbed h atom okay so this is the zero point energy and we need to get the exact zero point energy so that is zero point energy equal to zero point energy of absorbed one and also half of the zero point energy of h2 
so the half of the zero point energy of H2 is 0 0.135 so the calculated zero point energy is 0 0.184726 if you subtract these two you will get the exact zero point energy of the absorbed H system okay <coughs> then we need to um, get the entropy so actually entropy of the absorbed H is almost zero if you do frequency calculation and to use VASP kit you will, uh, then you will see only the uh, zero point energy that uh, the entropy you will see the some 0 0.001 something that means is almost zero we no need to consider that value for that we need to take the experimental zero point energy okay for that the experimental tdl uh, T ts is for hd 0 0.40 you also this get from the janafnis database so then the entropy of the absorbed of h is is half of the 40 okay this is 0 0.200 this is that thing now you, you have to substitute uh, this uh, calculated zero point energy tls in this uh, formula you will get this value 0 0.249726 okay this is the important energy so you have to use this energy and also this energy in order to get delta gh so you can substitute these two energy here and here you will get the hydrogen absorption uh, free energy okay this is the exactly the hydrogen absorption uh, free energy so now we will compare this energy with uh, the calculated uh, reported paper so so this is the reported paper so if you see fe and 4 graphing system they used 0 0.37 they are they calculated the 0 0.37 so our our case we we got 0 0.33 so it's almost near only so this is due to the they also used different method to compute uh, this energy so we maybe slightly use different method that's why we are getting this kind of differences so this not make a big uh, problem so next video i'm going to calculate the volcano plot for hydrogen evaluation reaction so you can uh, watch next video how to get this volcano plot for hydrogen evaluation reactions so thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe and comment and share and also click the bell icon for my future updates thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time and uh, happy computing